hey, welcome to this results stream. <laughs> I'm totally prepared. Um, let's see. I think I updated this scene. Yeah, look at this. Isn't that great? <laughs> it's um, it's the result stream of the game jam number five, which was tick eighty related, but we also had a cover art um, format. And the theme for the game jam was time. So we have 12 entries submitted to the TIG80 uh, category and 12 entries submitted to game battle art. And today we will see who won the battle. So let me tally the battle. Here we are. Ooh. I know who won. <laughs> um, but I think we should start at rank 24, which is the, well, basically the last rank. Um, I think we have time for that. So let me see if this all works out. I have a results page somewhere. There we go. And I want uh, basically all of them. <laughs> okay, so on rank 24, I hope everyone can hear me, but I guess otherwise someone would complain. On rank 24, we have a Viraxor with Proxima Centauri. Um, let me open this. Let's see if I remember how I named those. I think I just named them after the submitter. So I'm going to load Viraxor and then I'm going to run this. And I think I have to like fine tune the volume of Pick 80 because it might be a little too loud. Let, let me put it on, on minus 12, and I hope this works. So yeah, um, fun fact, uh, I will not play this game until the end, <laughs> because there are a few seconds left uh, before we reach our final destination. <clears throat> but yeah, this one uh, got last place, or the rank 24, which sounds a little nicer, I think. Um, fun fact number two, this is also the only entry which didn't get batch progress. Because I think uh, people really, really care about batch progress, so this one didn't get batch progress. Oh, look, I have Cursor too. Um, everyone else got batch progress. So yeah. That's cool. Uh, I think we, we checked this entry for long enough. Let, let's wait until 56. Very good. Okay, let me... Let me close this game. <clears throat> Very good. Okay. Next up, we have uh, rank 23, and that one is actually a cover art. So let me let me open the the page of that cover art, and then uh, switch to a scene where I can actually show the cover art, which is something I didn't prepare fully. Um, rank 23 is public toilet, and a lot of other people with a title that I will not pronounce, but I can show you. Let me see if this works. No, this is not the scene I was looking for. This is also not the scene. I'm... Okay. You know what? I'm just going to create a new scene and I call it cover art. And then I will add um, and I will add this thing. No, not that one. <laughs> this one. Woo! Success. Okay. So you can see uh, the cover art perfectly fine. This one got rank 23. Um, yes, I am aware this entry has an ending picture, like the Viraxa one. And you can, you can access this by editing the code, basically. But um, that's up to everyone on their own if they want to check that out. So yeah, this one uh, got rank 23. Isn't it amazing? I added this six. <laughs> And that's that's my part of the collaboration. We should have more of those collabs. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. Okay, um, <clears throat> so far so good. We are moving on to the next rank, which is rank 22. And rank 22 is yet another cover art. Who would have guessed? And for that one, I have to open it in the incognito window because it's animated. It is actually Nitro Furano with um, 2024-02-27. Look at all that time. <laughs> the time's running out, or is it, is it 
Is it going up? Or is it going down? I can't tell. Is it just random? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is our rank 22. I think we're moving on. <clears throat> what else do we have? Rank 21 do we have. Very good. And rank 21... Maybe I should actually play some music in the background, but every time we, we go to a, to a game, I have to have to stop it, so... Nah. Rank 21 is actually a game, as far as I can tell, unless I'm mistaken. No, it's not a game. I'm very sorry. This one is not a game. This is yet another cover art. Maybe we will go through all the cover arts now and have all the games at the end. Um, this cover art on Rank 21 is titled Clocks Galore and is by uh, SRB Secondar. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but this is your cover art. Look at this. <clears throat> Look at all those fives. I think, I think it was Game J number five, but I could be mistaken. <laughs> Very cool. This is rank 21. So yeah, we're moving on to... Um... By the way, since I'm commenting all the time and being totally focused on the stream, I, I can't really read the chat, but... Look, it's here in the stream. It's, it's on the right side of life. Here, here's my... Wait. My cursor is not there. Anyway, um, we are moving on to rank number 20, which is, who would have guessed, a cover art submission. Crazy, right? Oh, by the way, was, was that one animated? No, it wasn't good for me. Um, on rank 20, we have, with one tin cans, yes, you heard me right, it is one tin cans deep into the game. This is Dammy Fortune with... It's time for BTB Game Jam 5. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, um, this one got a tin can. Congratulations. And the text. <laughs> I love how the text is just clock. <laughs> so yeah, I think everyone should go here and uh, place some more clock on the entry. I'm pretty sure Dami would appreciate this. By the way, I'm not posting the links because I'm too focused on talking. So if anyone else uh, wants to share links, uh, I'm going to share this one so everyone can actually add the tag. But I will probably forget for the others. Cool. Uh, also, I'm not sure how um, uh, how delayed the stream is, so I might spoil something if I post the link too early. Cool. Um, I'm going to switch back to this scene and we're continuing with our rank number 19, which is actually a tick 80 submission. So I have to go back into my tick 80. And this one is, um, it also has a tin can. It has a tin can and uh, is rank number 19 overall and a collaboration between, uh, look this, <laughs> Baron Knoxbury and Sean. So I'm gonna load this one. No, wait, I'm gonna run this one. I already loaded it. Um, this one is called Jungle Jost uh, Joster. Or something like that. You can see it here. Damn, the music is so loud. Very cool. Um, I really enjoy the graphics. If this is too loud, please tell me, right? So we're gonna go into... I am a worried traveler and I have lost my four pet dingles. Please rescue them from the rest from the surrounding biomes of nature. Beware the... the menager... whatever. <laughs> something. Look at this. I really enjoyed uh, walking through the forest, by the way, even though we have no uh, like hitboxes or like no um, enemy encounters or something like that. But like you, you run around and then you, you find a dingle and um, then you collect away. That's not a dingle. I'm, I'm very sorry. I mistook a flamingo for a dingle. Um, but like you walk around and sometimes you might find a dingle. Wait, let me find one. I think here's some somewhere there's one. I can also like attack, even though there is no reason to. Oh yeah, there was a dingle. Yay! And uh, and then you walk around more and you find probably find more dingles. That's that's it. I, I really like the graphics. Did I say this already? And uh, in in theory, I also like the the game idea. Um, if this ever gets a full version, I would love to play it. I guess. So yeah. Um, while walking around for a little longer, I think we can also uh, see if anyone said something in the chat. <laughs> Audio is good. Okay, that's cool. 
then I will not worry about this anymore. Um, yeah, so uh, since I am unable to find more dingles right now, because I got lost in the woods and between trees, I will just chill here and uh, look at who got rank number 18. <laughs> All right, uh, we have rank 18, which is actually a, that, that's a cover art, who would have guessed? So yeah, I'm gonna keep this open and um, open up the next rank in the background. And this one is called Hurry Up and was submitted by GLW. <laughs> Or however you want to pronounce your name. I think it's like glitch, but with a W, I don't know. But um, here it is. It's rank number, uh, what did I say? 18? 19? Well, like the next rank in order. I, uh, I have to check if this one got a tin can, but I will not do this in this scene because otherwise I would spoil something. Yeah, this also got a tin can, actually. Congrats. Cool. We're moving on to the next rank which is uh, by the same person wow it's the endless rhythm machine and this one is uh, actually a tick 80 submission and got it in can cool so let me load this one and run it oh yeah I remember this one You can, you can just say which it's glitch and which tricky. I get it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Endless Rhythm Machine. Uh, it got a score of something something, 23. And uh, it's ranked number 17. Awesome and amazing. And all that stuff. I wish there was some interaction like here. Like I can I can press a button and it is bing beep beep. But since I'm not a rhythm person I can Also I think it's like slightly delayed. But I think that's that's about it, right? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I can do something. Yeah, I think I was struggling with this, but I like the uh, the animation. Okay, um, uh, that that was it. That's uh, rank 17. Let's move on to rank 16, which is um, it's another color art. All right, and uh, this one also got a tin can. We have a lot of entries with just one tin can here. Um, Wait, excuse me, but I have to have to stop this, otherwise I'm going crazy. The next one is um, not animated. Very good. <laughs> Just have to check this every time. Um, what did I say? This is rank 16, and it's uh, it's it's Collidy or Collidy or Collidy with uh, Cuckoo. Look at this. It's it's the Twitter bird. <laughs> Wait, this is also in the tags. <laughs> it's, it's the Twitter bird. We tweet. Very cute. How many people used the uh, five o'clock clock? Because I'm... I think it's at least three people. Very good. So yeah, this one uh, got ranked something. 16, I think. Very cool. Uh, moving on. Maybe I just don't have any sense of rhythm. Yeah, it's uh, probably the more accurate thing. Next up, we have rank 15. And uh, this is also a cover art submission with one tin can and a collaboration. Crazy, right? I wonder who did some collaborations for the cover art format. Couldn't be me. So uh, in rank 15, we have uh, Kleda, that's me, and Triple P with Playtime. With uh, Clocky the Clock. Clocky the Clock is ready for some gaming. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So Clocky the Clock uh, just won rank 15, I guess. Very cute. <coughs> hmm, luckily, I have some water next to me. I'm so professional. I'm very prepared. 
Cool. Uh, moving on to rank 14, which is a game. Or let's say it's uh, an unfinished prototype. This one is DevEd and Mirage of Her with Time Enforcer, rank number 14. It also got, now hear me out, it got a bronze visuals. V vis visuals. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna close this and we're gonna load DevEd. And we're gonna run it. Disclaimer, this is unfinished. Yeah, no. Damn. So DevEd presents us an unfinished prototype, which also got the bronze visual. Title screen will go here. All right, thank you. And here we have a cutscene. Uh, uh, I'm trying to, to read this. Officer, uh, officer, reporting for duty, sir. At ease, I have a new assignment for you. As you are no doubt aware, we have detected the opening of multiple time rifts near the city center. Our intelligence suggests that this is the work of the time killers. We're not sure what they're up to, but if they're allowed to continue, it could... You got it, boss. I'll take care of them. I wasn't finished. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. If the time killers are allowed to continue, the curse of history could be irre irreversibly altered. Your mission, should should you choose to accept it, is to investigate the time rifts and put a stop to whatever their plans may be. Uh, by any means necessary. Lethal Force is hereby authorized. Yes sir, right away. And don't forget your scouter this time. Of course, how could I forget something so important? I want a full report of... I want a full report on my desk in 30 seconds. Right, off you go. That girl is such a pain. <laughs> so yeah, we have um, an unfinished prototype, which was, I think, unfinished because David had no time left and was not happy with the controls. But um, I think this is very playable, actually. You can, like, you can shoot uh, and you can jump. And look at look at all those graphics. Would be cool if I could like uh, crouch. Like, look up or something, if something happens if I press arrow up and arrow down. But yeah. Very cool uh, animations. I think with more time this could have been a very, very good game. Um, ah! Wasn't there like uh, an extra screen with all the unfinished graphics? I'm not sure where to find this actually. Oh, you had a crouch animation. Well, that's cool. Oh, okay, it's 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 done. I'm gonna walk around a little, and maybe someone can tell me how to access this uh, screen, or maybe I just check the description. Yeah, I, I will oh, press S. Okay, I will do this. Thank you. This part here is a little tricky. I think this is where the controls uh, failed me a little. Like, especially with playing with the keyboard right now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool, yeah, I think we walked around the whole thing now. Um, uh, there was nothing else to do, right? I mean, yeah, pressing S. Alright, this is uh, the next level. Woo! Yeah, I think I... I, I, I think I won. Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, um... Okay, those uh, those are the alternate stages. What was the uh, shortcut for the um, for the gallery? I'm gonna check the description. Mm. Mm. Is there a gallery? <laughs> <laughs> I pressed S again. I'm sorry, uh, but what I can do is actually I can close this game and like check the the sprites one more time. Just to see if there's more. Like, like this. Oh, this, uh, this sprite was not seen in the... 
get from title. Oh yeah, maybe that makes sense. Um, let me do that. X for gallery. There we go. <laughs> okay, use left and right to select pigs. We, we're gonna do this. Very cool how, how the image is just in the game. I remember that when Mew sent me all those uh, work in progress sprites. It's very cool to see them in the Tick 80 um, window right now, even if the game is unfinished. <laughs> I, I love this animation. Time killers, duck die. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Those are the um, unused the unused sprites animation thingies. Very cute, very detailed, um, sadly unfinished, but hey, you can't have everything. All right, so let me let me tap out of this. And we're gonna check the next rank, which is apparently rank number 13. And it's another cover art submission. And this cover art is called Time Loop Cave. It got Two tin cans. And it was submitted by Agagara and me. Yeah, look at the time loop cave. Look at all those those cute thingies here. My initial idea was um Well basically this is my initial idea, but um I was thinking of like uh, a complete platformer stage within the clock, which is like um a cave platformer or like a platformer cave <laughs> level um, and the numbers uh, being like completely like almost invisible but still there so you can guess it's a clock that was my initial initial idea and this uh, this version the the clock is a lot more visible but that doesn't mean it's it's worse it's just different um, and this one this this blue little thing is meant to be the the tick 80 character i'm not sure if this is uh if if anyone actually like saw this but yeah um that's the uh, rank 13 or something i already forgot the number but i can check again yeah that was that was rank 13. cool let's continue we are at rank number 12 and rank 12 is yet another cover art submission. And this one got one tin can. Crazy. One tin can goes to Agarak with Time Pong. I really like the, um, the colors chosen here and also how the font looks like. Yeah, that's that very, very good idea actually. Also very Agarok core. <laughs> What's just like Minecraft? Something is like Minecraft? I totally just like Minecraft. Um, oh yeah, I like the idea of a cave just floating in the sky like Minecraft. Maybe I should read the message above the other message. Um, I, I guess, even though that wasn't my idea to make it like Minecraft, but thanks. Uh, let's move on to rank number 11 and rank 11 is a tech 80 game. Yes, it is. No shit. And this one got no tin cans and no other trophy. It's just there. It exists. <laughs> but uh, hey, it got rank 11. So that's, uh, that's cool. Let me close the previous one and load um, this one which is actually our rank number 11. Lost to Tame is the title. I really like the title screen, to be honest. I also like how the clock's moving backwards. <laughs> and I also like the opening scene. Let me, let me see this one. I don't know why anyone won't press A to skip. Because this is, this is very cute. But here we are. Alright. I also really like the idea of this one. Um, 
I think this one is like collecting extra lives. And uh, then you move on and like you find some obstacles, you jump over them and then you collect more of the thingies and suddenly you're like, oh damn, I can't go further. What I do, I do. Maybe I press B, which is actually actually the the X key on my keyboard. And boom, you're in the past and suddenly you have other other ways to go. I mean, this is a very common mechanic, I would say. Or at least I, I've seen this before, but it's, it's cute to see it again and it's very well executed too, I would say. So yeah, let me try to reach the end of this one. Not a very long game, but it is a game. Also, I would have loved if the uh, checkpoints actually give some like feedback that you reached them. I mean, obviously you passed by, but um, would be cool if there was like some pling or different sound. Anyway, let's move to the past again to get by this wall. Like, you're just moving through the checkpoint, and the checkpoint is just uh, doing nothing. <laughs> Maybe it could have changed the color or something. But anyway, uh, let's move on. There we go! We reached the end. This was our rank number 11, Lost to Time. And now we will uh, eternally sit below the D. And uh, don't quote me on this. So, let's move on to the next rank, which is uh, rank number 10. Hell yeah. We're actually uh, going very, very quick through all this. I wasn't expecting this, but on the other hand, most of these games run too long. So, uh, rank number 10 is another cover art, and this one got gold, time and pants, and the bronze game battle art. Yes, we are already approaching the top game battle arts. This one got the bronze... No, now you quoted me on this. <laughs> um, the bronze gold bat battle art and the gold time and pants. The gold time and pants goes to Kilowatt64 and Kleda with Stuck in Time. Little Tixi finds himself in a precarious position. Yep, that's what happens. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, the Tick80 guy stuck in, in an hourglass sand and here is, here is a zombie and a parasite waiting, waiting for them. I actually have to um, give, a, give a shout out to my sister who actually had the idea of an hourglass. So yeah, I guess uh, it's a double collaboration. <laughs> but yeah, this is our bronze uh, cover art. Imagine being stuck in time. Yeah, I'm imagining it right now. Have you ever been stuck in like quicksand or something? I didn't, I'm just asking out of curiosity. All right, let's go back to this. Um, next up, we have some games, hell yeah. So um, next up is rank number nine, which is uh, a game, I already said this. It has four tin cans, right? Four. Four tin cans, go to, uh, go to rank nine, which is killing time by Hexar. Reload. This one. Press Z to begin. All right. All right, I remember this one. I remember being very bad at this, by the way. <laughs> I really like the idea of uh, not dying instantly, but instead... Um, Instead, there's like the screen going from the left to the right, and only if it reaches the left side, uh, the right side, it's actually um, it's actually game over. Pew pew pew! So yeah, this was our rank nine with four ten cans. I think I want to die right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> just to show this. Defeat!
Very cool. Um, yeah. Remember to stop time, all right. Wait, how do I stop time? Should I read the uh, the manual next time? Oh yeah, this is how you stop time. Awesome. <laughs> right. See, sometimes I forget things. Thanks, thanks to the chat for telling me. All right. There we go. We stopped time. Okay, awesome. Also very cute ending animations, even though it means we died. LOL, I can do not add 56. Thanks, Wombot. Okay, <laughs> this was rank 9. Killing time. Which is what we just did by playing this. Okay, next up we have uh, another game. It has three tin cans. Is our rank 8 and was submitted by Agarok. Space Sentinel. No, I don't want to go to the... There we go. Load Ar Argarok. Yes, please. Uh, run. This is our rank number. What did I say? Rank 8 with three tin cans. And it's a shmup, and I, I suck at those, so have fun seeing me die and be very bad. Okay, so we have fire and we have burst fire, and yay, let's go. I, I'm, I'm dead, see? I'm very good at this stuff. <laughs> control R to try again. Well, I appreciate that, that this is actually a keyboard control. So, um, all right, I think what I did while while playing this for the first time was doing this. And it actually worked very well. I survived for like, I don't know how long, <laughs> several minutes. <laughs> this is how I play those games, by the way. So I'm... <laughs> oh no, I'm about to die. <laughs> okay, I didn't have that much luck this time. <laughs> Last time I think I've survived like two minutes <laughs> just doing this. So yeah. Um <laughs> But I think it's a very good game. <laughs> I mean <laughs> You know, I uh I'm not good at this, but I'm pretty sure it's a good game. <laughs> oh yeah, well Um Congrats to uh, three tin cans and rank eight, I guess. We're moving on to rank 7, which is another game, luckily. Um, the game has 4 tin cans, is on rank 7, which means it has uh, an overall tin can. Important. And was submitted by uh, Hertz Voyager. You heard me right. Let me close the game. And... Uh, Let's hope I actually, like, saved this. Yeah, I did. Why is it not... Oh, yeah, I have to uppercase this one. Okay, cool. Um, run. I really like the graphics. The intro is, like, is a classic. The BOTB intro. Um, so, yeah, Lunar Harvest with... Uh, how many tin cans did I say? Four tin cans on rank number seven. Well, let's play this. How to? Wait, uh, how, how do I access the how to? Press enter. Yeah, maybe I have to press enter. Oh, damn. Personally, I don't like this font, so I have trouble reading this. But uh, I appreciate the in game manual. Okay, arrow keys. C, easy. Yeah, that's the only thing I actually like uh, understood. Let's go. Oh, and there's more. Damn, there's so much to... So much into this thing. Okay. Uh, how do I... How do I go back? I'm literally stuck. Well, I'm just gonna reset this. <laughs> okay, start. Alright, this one. Uh, I, I'm still not sure if I actually... 
if I actually understood how to do this correctly, but like, I, j I was just moving around and avoiding the enemies. There's something else to it? Please tell me. Because, as I said, I can't really read the, the manual since... Bad font. It literally tells you. Well, I mean... It's unreadable. <laughs> oh shit, it's changing. So anyway, this is, uh, this is something. Can I do anything else than moving around? I'm not sure because, you know, I just died. You know, an important part of playing games is to understand them. All right, yeah, yeah, the, the stuff on the left side. I was I was uh, thinking about this for some time, but yeah, it makes sense. And then I have to um, then I have to to get a high score, right? That's like the point of the thing. Yeah. Okay. But you know, one thing I am questioning is uh, there's not enough stuff to show up for me to actually like. Get those on the left because most of the time it's just I'm collecting the stuff that appears and that's it. Look, I'm walking around the fly. <laughs> that's why there's a manual. Well, you have a point there. Anyway, I'm uh, having fun here right now. <laughs> okay, let me try reading that, that manual for real now. But, um... Oh yeah, that's very readable. <laughs> Alright, I, li I liked how the, uh, the, s the score was uh, like uh, having some, some sounds together with it. Return to the menu! Okay, moon, moon crops are rather easy to harvest. The moon grows out uh, run around. Grab a bunch of health, need uh, uh, Alright, I get it. You get a life every 5,000 points. Okay, now I'm... <laughs> now we got this. Alright. Um, this was rank 7. <laughs> With uh, 14 cans, the Lunar Harvest. And I really like the uh, the graphics, by the way. Apart from the font. I don't like the font. Next up, we have rank 6 overall. And our rank 6 overall also got the gold playability, which is in itself a great achievement in a game jam, I would say. It also got the gold concept and two tin cans. I'm gonna repeat. Rank 6 overall, got a gold playability, the gold concept, and two tin cans. Crazy shit, huh? And this one was submitted by Pitet, or Pete, Pete, T, or... Anyway, wait, I already loaded, so let's run this. It's, uh, what was the name again? Not Snake. Yeah! I uh, remember playing this for way too long. I think I played this for like an hour. <laughs> Maybe not not an hour, but, but like 45 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, this one is our rank 6 overall. Let's go. Uh, let's let's play some some snake. Actually, here's the fun fact of the day. Um, I was already playing this while setting up the stream because I was like downloading the games and checking if all of them work. And I was... Ended up, I, I was ended up right. Uh, I ended up playing playing the stuff again. So yeah, I uh, didn't really look at what I did, but the idea is you you get points. <laughs> All right, let's let's try something else. 
So you're that you're that snake, and uh, you're moving around. And every time you eat a fruit, you get some points. And if you eat yourself, or like if you pass by yourself, you also get some points. So you have to build up your points in order to uh, reach the gold. And it works very well, to be honest. You can like undo your steps. Yeah. I really like this. I fucked up. Yeah, whatever. Not gonna get the gold while commenting. But I had a lot of uh, fun getting the gold or even the, the, the hidden secret platinum. What? Oops. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm not sh even sure how many uh, different... Um, how many different puzzles there are, but so far it didn't feel like... Uh, oh, well, what? So far, it didn't feel like I uh, I had a, a double twi a puzzle twice. So that's cool. Oh, cool! I got gold already. <laughs> the horny shark simulator hasn't shown up yet. Well, now is the perfect time to put in some guesses on which entries could be in the uh, in the top five because well no that's that's not smart because all the entries we didn't see yet are in the top five but you know how they are positioned in the top five is, is what you can guess now so uh yeah that's rank number six and uh you could watch me playing this for another hour probably and it i wouldn't get bored but we have some other entries to play so yeah i guess we will move on Congrats, Pitat, on the gold playability, gold concept, and two tin cans. We're moving on to the next rank, which is rank 5. And it has four tin cans. I have high hopes for color ticks, is what Mio says. Apparently, rank 5 with four tin cans and a silver visuals and silver game battle art is color ticks by Sean and me. Look at this. This is Colortix on rank 5. <laughs> yeah, um, this was a lot of fun to, to work on actually. I, I did an initial, I had the initial idea, then I was um, <clears throat> drawing a very bad sketch and paint, sending this to Sean, and uh, they got some really cool sketches done and then I took one or two of those sketches and improved them or like changed them up, spiced them up a little and it was all all right but like I am not a graphic person so this was you know it didn't look that good but the idea came across and like a day later Sean sent me this thing basically how you see it right now and I was blown away this was crazy. Um, so yeah, this is rank 5. In total. And our silver um, game battle art. Um, which also means that you can probably guess who got the gold mix. Uh, I, I always say mix battle art. Who got the uh, gold game battle art by just, you know, crossing out everything else that already got shown. But hey, uh, let's uh, pretend we didn't, we, we can't do this. Let's pretend we're dumb and the gold... A game battle art will be a surprise. So this one was rank overall number five, silver visuals, silver game battle art, and 14 cans. All right, we are moving on to the next rank, which is rank overall number four. And this one is a game. It has the bronze playability, the silver atmosphere, the bronze tick 80, and one tin cans. You hear this? It has a tin can. And rank number four is, whoops, um, submitted by, it's a collaboration, submitted by Luigi64 and Lone Star. It's called Horny Diabetic Shark Gaiden. Let's load this and run this. There we go. This was actually a lot of fun.
I really enjoyed playing this. Kinda uh, was kinda hoping for um, it to be a little longer, but really like the game uh, concept and all that. Very very cool. Well, I died. <laughs> Yeah, I also was very confused at first, but um, I got very used to it very quickly. All right, I got used to it very quickly. So, um, yeah, very cool. This is rank overall number four. I say it again, it has bronze playability. I can see that. It has the silver atmosphere and the bronze tick 80 and also a tin can. Oh no, I can't go here because I'm uh, missing a key. Let's uh, watch out for the key. There it is. Yeah, works uh, very well at the rhythm game. Really enjoying this. Okay, now we're in the second area. Um, I'm not sure if I remember how to proceed here, but let's try. <laughs> Okay, we need a key. Probably this one. Mio is flexing again with perfect pitch. Classic. What's down here? Is there anything down here? Um, not sure if I should go there. Let's let's try this path instead. Yeah, very good. Ah, huh, okay. Look at this area. It it feels like I'm back in like 2010 internet or something like that. I don't sure. Whoops! I, I I fucked up. Let's do it again. I wasn't aware that you can actually die there because I'm pretty sure I didn't die on my first try. Like when I was voting on this. Anyway, let's uh, try it again. That's why we're here. I just kind of wish this game, uh, or like this part in the game had more rhythm, was more rhythm related uh, still. Yeah, holy crap, you winner. <laughs> because uh, the first part was very like rhythm based, you can actually feel the rhythm. And the second part was a little too fast paced for my taste. But yeah. Very cool, this got the bronze tick 80, rank overall number 4. So... Holy crap, I'm winner. Let's move on to um, our rank overall 3, which got the bronze overall. Crazy. Uh, it also got the silver tick 80 and it got 4 tin cans. Oh yeah, the Stomp SFX also went away in the later level. That's true. So, this literally, like this entry literally only got the uh, the format trophy for ranking high and the overall trophy for ranking high and none of the voting category trophies. Only 14 cans. That's crazy. And this one was submitted by Agar Gara and it's called BOTB Tycoon. No, I, I, I actually didn't want to open Agarag. I want to know uh, Agarag. Grr, 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 grr. Let's go! I'm gonna hold Z to battle. Well, I, I will not. I will hold Y to battle because I'm on, on a German keyboard. But anyway, we're battling! Let's go! Um, I'm gonna press X to buy a few noobs, right? For 27 boons? Yeah, we can, we can, we can do this. Just in case anyone was wondering, this is how it looks like uh, in my living room all the time while I'm doing battles. I'm basically just producing noobs which are doing the um, entries for me. How else would you think could I have reached level uh, 31 at this point? So yeah, we are uh, 
Very close to hosting our first battle. Let's build up some boons and I think we're gonna host uh, our first OHB. Hell yeah. We got a few more boons. Alright, let's buy some noobs. Oh, I accidentally hosted a battle. I wanted to buy some noobs. Anyway, I'm gonna buy some noobs. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I, I, I love producing noobs. All right, let's let's get some more noobs. I guess I'm gonna host another battle. Because why not, right? To be honest, I could see myself playing this if this was an actual like cookie clicker like game in your browser. 16 entries, and um, if it was like more um, infinite. Right? You get what I mean. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, host a 2 HP because we already have the boons for this. <laughs> this is still like in the... Uh, this is still possible, you know? 24 entries on the 2 HP. Didn't think we had this yet, but... Um, in theory, it could be possible. So let's host a 4 HP and see what it... What the results will be. I'm gonna get some noobs as well. A 4 HB with 37 entries is... That's a lot. Don't think we had this yet. What was the uh, 4 HB with the highest amount of entries? Something around 25 maybe? Maybe 30? I'm not sure. So, we're close to hosting a major, but you know what? I uh, want to host another another 4 HP. <clears throat> it must be all gears. <laughs> it's probably all all gears. 47 entries. Let's go. Alright. Uh, I think we can uh, wait until we can buy or like host a major battle. Only a few people know that Puke 7 was actually sitting in front of BOTB Tycoon in 2005 before hosting the first major battle on BOTB in order to get 56,000, uh, 56 uh, something boons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. It actually happened. Still taking some time. Maybe I should have hosted. Oh, let, let's host another battle. <laughs> Getting tired of waiting. I wish my boons would go up that quick. 62 entries! Look at all those slugs! Hell yeah, now we have enough to host a major. Now we're getting the real business going. Kinda wish there were some uh, more different major battles. Like, first major battle is just a, a monthly single format battle. 200? Yeah, that's not a good. Okay, I mean, it's a good major battle outcome, but it could be more. So. Let's go. <laughs> Look at how many boons you get for this. Um, yeah, that's that's more what I'm talking about. 700, 700 entries for, for a major battle. Pretty sure no one would like to vote on this. <laughs> so let's host more. Um, yeah, I wish the first major battle hosting option was just a monthly with like one format. And the uh, then you can host... I don't know, something like smaller, s smaller major battles with like four formats and at the end you can host Winter Chip or something like that. Making some real business. Look at this. 2300 entries in one major battle. Just casually. If we ever reach those dimensions on, on a seasonal battle, then... I'm not sure if I can still vote. <laughs> Anyway, look at my boons. I'm pretty sure this is like inflation at this point. But I'm doing well, right? I'm doing well. Let's let's buy some noobs. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> let's buy some more noobs. Woo! I love how the... Um... <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. I think it's crashing. I love how... Um... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I win. Uh, you are the god of beauty B. Hell yes. Um, I love how the, the animation of the slugs is getting faster and faster. <laughs> if we ever reach these numbers, I'm quitting and going to gravity break. Yeah, I guess. Okay, cool. We won. This was Beauty Bee Tycoon, our rank number three overall. Yeah, my boons are too much for tick 80, I guess. Crazy. Look at those holy, holy slugs. Alright. Cool. Um, let's move on. We have two. We have two ranks left. One is a one is a game battle art, and one is a game. Now the question is, who got rank overall number two, and who got the gold overall? I think first of all, I'm gonna tell you the um, trophies of rank number two, and that is bronze concept, bronze atmosphere. Bronze time and pants and the silver overall and also one tin can. This one is the gold game battle art. Mio and me with a frames instant. That's it. That's our cover art. This is the golden game battle art. All right, now that we looked at this, um, we're moving on to our real winner of the battle, which is a game. It's a Tick 80 game. Also, I, I completely forgot to, to fill in these uh, thing on the left side, you know, here, th this stuff. But you know what? I won't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a lot of question marks. Just, just wait until I open the battle or like publish the results. Um, it's easier to type that stuff in when music is playing, to be honest. All right, our rank overall number one is, is Patch 3 by Dogs++ Plus Plus and the Taint Felix, by the way. And it got silver playability, gold visuals, silver concept, gold atmosphere, silver time and pants, gold tick 80, and the gold overall. No tin cans. Holy shit. So let's play this game and finish off the battle. Load. Dogs plus plus run. Here it is, our winner. Patch three. Fun fact: This game actually inspired me to uh, start playing Sudoku again. I I bought a Sudoku heft um, little booklet here, and I'm playing it daily. Even though this game is not even like very related to this, but I don't know. Pick anywhere to start, right. I, I have to play with my mouse, with my cursor. Um, yeah, this one was uh, a lot of fun, actually. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't really do my best and all that, but um, so much fun to, to just sit there and do things. Just chill. The only thing that I wished for was like, um, you know, higher quality and, and graphics, but I know it's it's tick 80 restricted, so I'm not actually blaming anyone here. Um, because sometimes I think it's kind of hard to see the icons. I, I'm getting confused very quickly by which one should go where, but... Yeah, it's um, it's very, very cute. Yeah, cool thing. This is our winner. Grow time, grow time. Also, most of the time I'm like... Uh, I'm not really, not really able to follow uh, what's going on, but you know, I, I was just like uh, continuing patching three. <laughs> Cause contrast, contrast wasn't the best, yeah. 
That's basically... That's basically it. Oh, I can't. I can't do this. I know, it, it's, it gets harder and harder to, for me to see which ones I can actually connect. But yeah, this basically puts me back to my primary school times when I was playing uh, stuff like that on the internet and like flash game websites all the time. Not only this, but like a lot of stuff like that. I think that's basically how I, how I would describe all those Tick 80 games. It's like little uh, throwback to flash game era, era for me. That's it, by the way. We are done with all the ranks. In case you didn't notice yet. Grow time. <laughs> Yeah, very flash gamey. So what I will do now is I'm gonna um, publish the results. And see uh, who got some extra points, right? Okay, I should start moving them more than one at a time to actually get some stuff in here. So like at this point I'm I'm just seeing pixels and not really icons anymore. But yeah, I I, I guess you get the idea of the game. It's like let's do this. In my first playthrough I also had this little guy walking over here and collecting fruits. I'm not sure how to trigger this actually. Oh well. Also, I'm not sure how to like make the time progress. I I didn't really. Basically, I'm I'm overwhelmed by by all the options that the game give you. But anyway, oh yeah, now we have noon. Okay, the time progress. That's cool. Not entirely sure what to do with that, but great. Oh, I have to get the fruits to line up with each other. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I guess I have fucked up everything now. Anyway, uh, I, I'm still having fun, so I guess it's all good. <laughs> For some reason, I only uh, I was only looking at the icons to line up and not the not the fruits too. But yeah, that makes sense. I guess I have to play this again. Not on the stream though. Alright, um, before I... Alright, bye bye Mio. I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna end the battle. Give everyone some bonus points. Let's see. There we go. The battle got closed. And I got 1616 Graxis points and 121 Hostess points. That's neat. Let's see if we will get some uh, level ups and while I'm trying to patch more. <laughs> and save whatever I can save. I'm not entirely sure how to connect these fruits though. It's like, it's weird to me. Hearts Voyager reaches level 10 criticist. Congratulations. I'm so lost. 
pretty sure everyone who's watching is seeing like 5,000 different combinations and I'm choosing the worst all the time. But um, that's how it is. Growing time! Oh no. You gotta make the vines grow, yeah, I'm... I get that, but, you know, I'm still confused. <laughs> it's just, uh... This game is, is too much for my dumb little brain, I guess. But I like, I like moving around sprites, so it's all good. I think the uh, entry had very good, uh, very good tags, or was it the tags, or was it the comments? I can't remember fully right now. Oh yeah, the the tags for this entry was basically funny little guy. <laughs> I really like that tag. Okay. Um, Boop, boop. <laughs> I also like the music. Uh, like, one thing that I actually have to say is I was playing this game for quite some time and the music just didn't get boring. Which is cool. Wait, I didn't want to move this here. Alright, at some point I think you're out of energy, right? And then then it's game over. I think that's about that. Pretty sure there's like some expert strats here that you can uh, and you can get better and better. One day I will I will be an expert. <laughs> I will see an actual expert play this game. Oh look! We are finally on our way to success. Yeah, this is very well uh, programmed too. Looking at that animation happening. High quality. Well, I didn't expect to actually get this animation before dying, but I'm glad. That's it, we didn't get any more uh, level ups. All right. That's okay with me. Um, in that case, I would like to say thank you for joining me on this uh, <laughs> quirky little fella. Uh, thanks for joining. This stream, thanks for hanging out and thanks for joining the game jam. Okay, game jam, in case you did. And uh, no, I'm barely seeing any combinations anymore. Let's try this one. <clears throat> Grow time! So, yeah, and with that being said, I think I will end the stream. <laughs> Don't forget to join some uh, Trans 163 and some Spring Tracks, right? Because those are the battles that are still running. Always uh, continue battling. Never stop being a noob and all that. <laughs> Have a great Sunday. See you. Bye bye.